but we're gonna sear it and yes. then it's gonna actually cook cook in the oven so yeah no worries ah! <laughs> right on cue <laughs> Okay guys, we are making enchiladas by Kristen Cavallari, who's got a bunch of cookbooks out about healthy eating, and Gina and I just wanted to try it because she's kind of like grown up with us. The first thing that we need to do is we need to make our homemade salsa verde. First thing, main ingredient is the tomatillas, and I have never bought these before in my life, so I had to ask where they were at the store. <laughs> And as always, I think mine were probably larger than normal. So I just bought 10 instead of 12. And it says cut them in fours. And then we're gonna throw in some jalapeno and garlic. Uh, and then we got onions and a little bit of cumin. And we do need a little bit of water. This is gonna help soften it and cook it down about half a cup. And we've got the oven going for 425 and we're gonna stir it every 10 minutes. And <laughs> I'm not, you know how I am with food prep that <laughs> requires tending to. <laughs> I tend to not tend to it, so I will do my best. <laughs> and then after it softens, we're gonna throw it in the blender. So I didn't chop the onions or the garlic or anything. And I don't know, I wasn't too worried about how small they were, because I know we're gonna just blend them up anyway. Okay, we're gonna stick this in the oven, so we'll see you guys back in about 40 minutes. All right, the Verde salsa is looking Verde. Mine's nice and soft, and I didn't burn it, and yes, I did stir it every 10 minutes, so I pretty much never left the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta add a couple more things into our salsa Verde. So first thing we need to do is add a little cilantro, which is my nemesis, but I'm gonna do it a little lime juice, a little salt, and then E-V-O-O. -O. Actually, it's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. mine's tangy. I did an extra squeeze of the lime juice because I love lime. Me so. too! <laughs> okay, round two. Or three. I don't know. There's a few steps with this one. There's probably like six different steps, Kat, would you say, to make this whole meal. So it's about a good two hour <laughs> of cook time and oh, I, I don't think we're even including prep. That just means it's going to be good, right? More work equates to good food. Okay, so now we're going to cook up the chicken and all we need first is a little coconut oil, enough to coat the bottom of your pan. And it was very particular in the recipe. It said to make sure your pan was really hot before you add your chicken. Well, we're gonna sear it, and then yes. it's gonna actually cook cook in the oven, so yeah. no worries. Ah! <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> no worries. Oh my gosh. So Kat, are you a fan of hers or just her show? I love the hills, and I love Laguna Beach. I watched every episode. Um, was I a fan of Kristen Cavallari's? I guess that her character was kind of like a mean girl. Um, I don't know if that's her in real life, but that's just based on editing. <laughs> I have watched a couple of her uh, very Cavallari episodes. It's actually really likable. Um, if you flip through her cookbooks or just look at her brand in general, it's all about healthy living and just eating healthy. And I did read that she doesn't like to count calories because she believes each calorie, like the value or the quality of each calorie is different depending on where you get it from. So she focuses more on reading labels, the ingredients, and making sure it's not like there's no GMO or anything like that in there. So, so I don't think this recipe is hard, but it's one of those things where you really should have the ingredients prepped ahead of time. That would be good for anything you make, but this one in particular, there's like the salsa portion and then there's the enchilada portion. I found myself reading and rereading the steps just to make sure I was doing everything correctly. So it's not one of those throw it in and cook it kind of thing. We just put in a little bit more coconut oil into the same pan and we're gonna saute the yellow peppers, thinly sliced onions, 
diced up jalapenos. Okay, so at this is when we're finally able to add our seasoning. So we're gonna add in a little salt and we're gonna add in a little paprika, a little bit more cumin. And then now we're gonna add in our cilantro and then we're gonna add our chicken back in. Okay guys, so we have our assembly stations ready to go. Last thing we need to do before we assemble is that we're going to put some of our salsa verde into the chicken and vegetable mixture and mix that up. Let's pour our verde into a plate in a bacon dish, take our warm tortillas, coat both sides with the verde, add the chicken stuffing, rolling it up, placing with the seam down, and we're going to repeat a couple more times. And then we're gonna pour the rest of the verde over and finish off with some yummy buffalo mozzarella. Okay, so we're going to cover this uh, with some tin foil, and we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes with the cover on, and then we're gonna take the cover off and bake it again for another 10 minutes, so it's gonna be in the oven for a total of 30. All right, let's do it. Who's ready for some Salsa Verde Enchilada by Kristin Cavallari? Let's try it. All right. Verde that she had to put put together, it's got like a little nice punch to it. Mm hmm. I did put an extra lime, probably two or three times the required amount, but so that's where I get my kick from. I think with prep time, you should give yourself two and a half hours. No, but it's really good. The chicken's good. It's moist. It's just really flavorful. Like I just want to keep eating. So Kristen Cavallari has a couple cookbooks out. Um, I forget which cookbook this is in, but Gina and I will link it down below. Um, but we highly suggest you try it out. It's really good. It does take a little prep time. It does take a little longer to make. In her recipe, it says that you can keep this in the fridge for five days. Just don't pour the saucy verde on top until you're ready to cook and serve. I would love for someone to make this for me. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, save you the two hours. Thanks for watching us, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified of the next time we make a video so you don't miss our next one. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone.